thank you so much for your patience. There's been a lot of people wanting to talk to Dr. West. There have been a lot of people coming in. The parking has been difficult. We've needed chairs. So thank you so much for your patience, and thank, thank you so much for being here. On behalf of the Upstate Coalition to Ground the Drones and End the Wars, the Sirius Q's Peace Council, and the many, many co-sponsoring organizations listed in the program on the back, full page on the back, I'd like to welcome you to an amazing day of education and action. My name is Carol Baum. I work with both Upstate Coalition and the Peace Council, and I'll be your facilitator for this part of the day. Thanks to the many people who helped make this event happen, with a special thanks to Tucker Missionary Baptist Church for this lovely space. Their pastor, Dr. Leslie J. Johnson II, their office administrator, Rachel Levin, who has been incredibly helpful in making this happen, and of course, Dr. Cornell West. So now I'm going to introduce Rachel Levins from Tucker Missionary Baptist Church to welcome us. Thank you. It has been a privilege and a privilege and, and um, a special privilege to work with the Peace Council. You know, we do look to reach out to our community. We wish you all would come to have service with us also. But uh, it's been a great opportunity to work with everyone. And on behalf of our pastor, we are very happy that we, were able to, we are able to host you today. as well as information about the Upstate Coalition and Hancock Air National Guard Base, and if you're from the Syracuse area, ways to learn more about this locally. And I just want to say that we did hear that Dr. West will be joining us at the base. After. <laughs> the Upstate Coalition came together in 2010 and is primarily composed of groups and concerned citizens from Binghamton, Buffalo, Ithaca, Rochester, Syracuse, Utica, points in between, and some beyond. We have focused our efforts on Hancock, about a 15 minute drive from here, from which starting in 2009, Reaper drones were piloted over Afghanistan and it's become a center of training for Reaper maintenance technicians, pilots, and sensor operators. After the program, everyone is invited to a permitted rally and walk to the base. We now have a short slideshow created by Ithacan's Una Grady Diplom and Leah Grady Savitz. The song is by Buffalo activist Vicki Ross and sung by Ithacan Alice Salkenstall. So hopefully this will work. reading the first and the last slides. The first slide says, Petition for Order of Protection from Drone Camps in Afghanistan. And this is signed by Raz Mohammed in November 2013 in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. On Friday, the 30th of May, 2008, my brother-in-law was killed by a drone along with four of his friends. My brother-in-law was a student and was the innocent. Accountability from the U.S. military for this incident was non-existent. The incident created a situation which was beyond imagination. It affected the minds of my sister and all members of my family. When my nephew was five years old, he asked his mother, where is father? 
My sister replied, your father was killed by a computer. These negative effects on all of us persist till today. I'm worried for my family and the people of my village. I request that U.S. courts protect my sister, my family, and my village. I wish the U.S. courts will be able to save all humanity from drones.
it's almost impossible to read this from where you're sitting. I'm going to read this to you. This is a letter from Claire Grady, who was in jail for a protest at the base, a non-violence protest at the base, to Judge Gideon, who is one of the Tom and DeWitt judges who's been seeing this. Warm greetings from a very cold cell. As I prepare to go before you today, I write a few words about why we go to Hancock Air Base. We come saying clearly with our words and deeds that we will not be complicit with our government's war crimes. We come to resist the use of killer drones. Killer drones kill the innocent, violate national sovereignty, terrorize and bully smaller and weaker nations and people, almost always people of color. Their use is illegal, violating the supreme laws of our land. We are all responsible for the crimes of our government. To the extent that we allow our government to kill whoever it wants, whenever it wants, however it wants, with no accountability, we send a message here and around the world that if you are the biggest bully, you can act above the law. My observation here at the Justice Center, where I'm in jail, is that women are doing time for open container, dirty urines, and theft to support their drug addiction. Our jails and prisons are filled with men and women, 2.3 million of them, mostly poor, disproportionately people of color. Their offenses cannot be compared to those of the leaders and commanders of this country and military, the largest, most powerful in the world. Our military kills the innocent with impunity as a matter of policy and spends trillions of dollars stolen from our children and future generations to maintain its superpower status. The corollary I see is that to the extent that we fail to hold ourselves and our government accountable for the big crimes of mass murder and grand theft, we will continue to scapegoat others here and around the world, those most marginalized already, people of color and poor people. We will continue to profile, target, criminalize, imprison, torture, and kill them as a matter of policy. Let us undergo a revolution of values that seeks peace with justice, not war, that puts humanity first, not the gods of militarism, racism, and greed. I hope we help each other in such a revolution because we are all in this together. Thank you and blessings upon you. Signed by Claire Grady to the judge. Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Yemen, and the um, Afghan peace volunteers are Afghan young people working for peace in spite of the odds. Also, to just explain the order of protection that was in the beginning, at our rally in this afternoon after the talk, it's called People's Orders of Protection Against Drone Terrorism, which is a reference to letters like Raza's where they need protection, they need an order of protection to be protected from drone attacks, and also a reference to the fact that people who have done civil resistance at the base have been given orders of protection, in that by the commander of the base, because I guess he's afraid of us. Um, but we see this as a very, very um, tragic misuse of an important tool for domestic, domestic violence situations. So we've been really struggling with that and fighting that. But the people who really need the orders of protection are the people in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, and other places. So thank you.